Andulkar is now joining us. Uh, he's the India strategist at Jeffries. Uh, Mahesh, great to have you with us here. Thank you for your time. Let me just sort of reverse the order of what I want to ask you and start with what is the hot topic, which is equities taxation or FNO taxation, whatever you want to call it, uh, especially after that mention it got in the economic survey yesterday. What, what are your thoughts? Are there any expectations? And on this topic, what is the feedback you've got from foreign investors? Yeah, I mean, investors obviously don't like any increase in the... Uh, capital, uh, you know, gains taxation, which, uh, you know, were talked about, uh, you know, some time ago. My sense is that uh, maybe uh, this particular budget, we may not really see uh, too many changes on that. But I would say that there is a fairly high probability of, uh, you know, some increase in the taxation levels, maybe in the subsequent budgets. What we have generally seen is that it has also become a global trend. And we have seen uh, some element of increased uh, taxation on high income bracket or capital gains taxes in many other parts of the world, in the developed world as well, uh, including some things like proposed taxation even in the U.S. on, uh, you know, on unrealized capital gains, etc. So looking at the global environment, uh, I believe that uh, at some point in time in the future, there is a high chance of uh, capital gains taxes going up in India as well. Uh, but I don't think, uh, you know, any major changes are likely uh, in the upcoming budget itself. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's what I feel. But yeah, but any, any adverse changes, uh, you know, is obviously going to pull back, uh, you know, pull down the investor sentiment. So we all know that uh, the markets have done well and the valuations are definitely on the higher side. Uh, investors are sitting on substantial gains. So even a small... Uh, negative on that side uh, has the has the capability to uh, bring the markets down okay well i hope this is not the year when capital gains taxes are tampered with right uh, do you think the numbers on capex will be higher than what was presented in the interim budget mahesh see in the interim budget the uh, capex growth that was projected was about 16 to 17 percent my sense is that uh, those kind of numbers will be held whether there will be substantial jump, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe one to two percentage point higher is possible. But I don't think there's going to be a substantial jump into those numbers. But at least those numbers should be held at the level that was projected at the time of the February 24 budget. That's the least in my view. And, and in terms of boosting consumption, uh, any specific measures that you're expecting? Well, uh, the government has clearly talked one thing which is uh, you know there is the the focus on affordable housing i think that is clearly uh, you know something that the prime minister announced as one of the first big announcements after uh, he assumed the office for the third time and i think you will see more clarity on that emerging uh, in the upcoming budget with the uh, you know with the clear cut definition of the schemes etc so i think yes affordable housing is definitely going to be one in my view and then obviously uh, the government has many other ways uh, they could probably uh, take a relook at some of the uh, taxes at the lower end uh, to boost consumption. Um, if you look at what has happened in the recent state budgets, uh, there has been some element of uh, cash transfer schemes which has been introduced. Um, I think the central government can uh, you know, also possibly uh, you know, you know, maybe do a bit on that side as well. We already know that the government has a cash transfer scheme existing for the farmers. Possibly, maybe some of those numbers go up, and there are many other ways, uh, you know, as well. But yeah, those are some of the things that uh, come to your mind uh, straight away. Okay, Mahesh, thanks a lot for explaining to us what one can expect as we head into the budget, and hopefully, we'll get to speak to you again post the budget uh, takes place. Let's.